Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy's Promo. Today we will be talking about a feature that was found on the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, but I'm gonna show you how you're able to put that on older Samsung Galaxy devices. Now this feature is called Link to Windows. Now Link to Windows is a way that you're able to hit one button on your phone and it's able to pair up and link with your Windows computer. And it's a way that you're able to check out notifications, send and receive text messages, and also check out the photos that is on your phone. So this way, if your phone is in your pocket, or in the other room or in a purse. As long as you're next to your computer, you're able to respond back to text messages and so on and so forth. Now there are two disclaimers with downloading this feature on your phone. First off, make sure it is a Samsung Galaxy device. If you're trying to put a Samsung feature on a non-Samsung phone, it just will not work properly. And also on your Samsung phone, make sure you're running the latest Android operating system, which is Android 9 or Android Pie. Now if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jamia's promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy, device don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos and don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Note 10 the S10 the S10 plus and older Samsung Galaxy devices going through the steps to install link to Windows this is what you'll do first head over into the Play Store and underneath the Play Store search for your phone companion and usually when you first start typing out your phone it should pop up on the very top aka known as link to windows so once you go inside of here you hit on install which mine is already installed you'll click on install and then just accept the permissions that does come about now once you have this application that is downloaded to your phone you're going to head over into your google search bar and search for right here link to windows service apk so once you search for link to Windows service APK, it's gonna show up on the very top and it'll even show you, you know, a couple more you know, articles showing you how you can do this. Uh, but here's the video for it. So as you scroll down, there's one that's right here that I clicked on. It's the one that actually shows you the name of link to Windows service 1.030.10. When you click on that, it takes you directly to the location where you're able to get this one downloaded. So you don't have to go through, you know, different uh, web pages and such. And right here is the download APK. Now, once you hit download APK, uh, then it's gonna take you to the screen here. You hit on download. Now I've already had mine downloaded, so just go through the steps, get it downloaded. And once it's all done, then you're able to get this thing opened up. Now, the next step that you're able to do is that because these are mostly services, once they are downloaded, you will be pulling down your notifications panel. So pull down the notifications panel, click on these three little dots and go to button order. Now inside of here, I've already done this, uh, but this link to Windows will be sitting right there. You might even notice a little orange N, which stands for new, because there's something new that's right there. And so there is your link to Windows. It's a way that you're able to basically grab this service and put it inside of your quick settings. Now, once you are done with that, you're able to press and hold, go inside of the application, and then you go through the rest of the steps. Now, because mine is linked with a Microsoft account, again, it doesn't have to be from Outlook or a Microsoft account itself. Mine is through Gmail. So once you have this one turned on, uh, you will first need to log in. And when you first log in, it'll also give you more steps of what to do on the computer. So now that you have it downloaded, basically the companion or the service that's on your smartphone, now you wanna to go to your computer and finish the rest of the steps. Now going through the rest of the steps on the computer, head over into your Windows icon and then click on the settings button. Now underneath settings, this is where you wanna head over into accounts. So mine is right here called accounts. Uh, and then really this is all you wanna look for right here is what is the email that you are logged into for your computer or laptop. And so this one is the one that you definitely wanna make sure is you know, listed and signed in on the link to Windows application on your phone. If you don't link them in, then they really won't be synced. And so once you know exactly what email you use and making sure it's the same one, you'll hit on the X button, go back into your Windows and then head over into your Microsoft Store. And right over here, you can see that this pop-up happens, Google 88 degrees and Shawnee. Uh, this is the notifications portion of the phone. So this way, if your phone is in another room, you get notifications, they will pop up right there. But anyways, you wanna head over into your Microsoft Store. And then inside of the Microsoft Store, you'll be searching on the very top for an application that is called your phone. 
Once you search for your phone, it's gonna be this one right over here, the very first one that you find. Uh, it just has an image of a phone. It's basically a, a blue tile uh, made by the Microsoft Corporation. And this is where you go to install and download. Now, once all of this is done, uh, you have basically the uh, companion features that's built into your smartphone, the service that's built into the smartphone through the quick settings, and now you have the program on your computer. So I added this small little shortcut on the desktop. So this way it's super simple and easy. I basically open up the your phone uh, and if you want to you will notice a few different pop-ups mentioning for you to you know accept permissions and yes it's okay for your phone to give the computer you know the access of you know basically everything and this is where you can hit on refresh and so when you click on refresh you can see it's connected to my Galaxy S10 Plus uh, it's going to my photos uh, the only thing I do want to mention is that it will be looking at your last 25 photos and screenshots that you've taken on the phone. So it will not show, at least in this version here, it's not gonna show uh, every single photo that's on your phone, uh, but it will be showing up to the last 25 photos. And then let's say you wanna head over into messages uh, and you wanted to send somebody a text message. And so when you go through here, you can say, uh, I love you, have a great day, babe and then you're able to send off a text message. And then the cool thing about it is that it's also gonna show up on your phone because really it's it's these two services working together to send the text messages you know, through the cell phone and everything else. And then underneath notifications, you'll see any notifications that has popped through. And then basically the moment that you exit out, then they won't show anymore. Uh, you can also go through customize. And so on the very bottom, you can see, you know, pick which apps notify you, Google, and you just kind of go through all of these here. Uh, notifications right there, display in your phone app, show notifications banner. Uh, underneath messages, you can allow this app to show text messages from your phone. So you can go through these and basically just make sure you have them all toggled on. Now taking a look back at the phone after it is connected, you will see a icon on your notifications panel letting you know that you are connected and also the name of the computer or laptop that you're connected to. Now to head back inside of the services of this application or feature, press and hold on link to Windows and it takes you back inside of this application. You are able to disconnect it and switch it and change profiles. It also lets you know which Microsoft account you are connected through. Uh, and also this right here is a setting you can change where you can link your computer or for mobile networks when Wi-Fi isn't available. So when we're looking at everything that was on the computer, the text messages, pictures, and everything else, um, it's because it was connected to Wi-Fi. Now, if you turn this feature on here or this setting, then you're able to let the computer know, hey, it's fine for all of this to be shown through. Even though I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, I just wanna be connected to my laptop or computer, and it'll be done through mobile data. So that is it, folks. That is how you're able to put Link to Windows on a older Samsung Galaxy device. It is a way that you're able to connect your phone to your computer so you can access texts, notifications, recent photos, and more. I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here, the very bottom left-hand side, this little circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.